over my case and I claim it. He said, you that used to urinate, frequent urinate, uh, he said you will urinate only one at night. Behold, now on Friday, I, could do, I did not get up to urinate at all, at all. Clap on to God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Then, then that heaviness of heart, when he was praying down on Friday, I felt something left me from my heart. Hey. And instantly, I received my healing. Power. That means that I cannot sleep at night. I don't used to sleep at night. When others sleep, I open my eyes down. I sleep as a little baby down on Friday. Thank you, Father. That is why I come here to testify the goodness of God in my life. I thank this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Who has done this for me. May his name remain praised forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Like how many times were you urinating at night? Before more, than, the, more than five times. Sir. More than five times. And you have suffered all these afflictions for how long? Since almost two months now. Two months now, but you are free now. Yes, sir. Clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. At this show, I want to pray for my daddy, G.O., heaven at last, all the choosing worldwide, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Clap unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. These are all miracles of yesterday, this program. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Stella Anioke. My son's name is Daniel Anioke. I joined Choosing 2007. I thank God for making me a Choosing. Thank you, Father. I thank God for a genuine salvation. Thank you, Lord. It happened 2014 when I was in Lagos. It's about my husband. My husband lives in abroad. Can you put, still put my friend closer to your mouth? Eh? It's just Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My husband lives in Italy. So 2014, he went to embassy. About 50, 52 of them went to embassy to protest for Biafra. <laughs> so they got them arrested. They arrested all of them. In Italy? In Italy there, 2014. So we thought it was a minor case. So my husband was arrested from 2014. So he now called me that they've released other people except him. So we called lawyers, we spent money. So last month, he called me on phone. Early morning, on Thursday morning when I was going to the church, he, my phone rang. It was unknown number. I said, who is this person calling me with unknown number? I refused to pick the call. I called the court, the, the, the phone. My phone rang again. I said, who is this person? Because when I was in Lagos, there's this number that usually call me, unknown number, trying to threaten themselves, not me. So I refused to pick the call. The call came in again. I said, who is this person? I now declare who I am. I now picked it. Though I didn't put the phone on my ear. I just picked the call. I said, who are you? I don't pick unknown calls. He said, baby, I'm the one calling you. I said, sweetie, are you, are you out of the prison? He said, yes, as I'm talking to you, I'm out of the prison. Power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My husband left Nigeria when my son was a month old. Hmm. So he now told me that I should call Pastor Moka, because that's the name you usually call him. That I should call Pastor Moka and Pastor Moses that is, is out of the prison. Because he believes that my G usually pray for him. Because hmm. there's something God did for us 2012 when he came to Nigeria. So, you know, we are praying, to, as in, we are praying, praying for God to bless us with the fruit of the womb. So as my husband was about going back to Italy, he was worried that how can I stay with him for months, no conception. And I kept quiet. So that day, as, that week, he now said, okay, that we should go to headquarters, that he would like to see Pastor Moses to tell him that he will be going back to Italy this week. I said, okay. So after the service, we now went to his office. He now told me that he will be going back on Thursday. So Pastor Moses now said, okay, that we should hold on. He now, someone now came to call us that Gio wants to see us. Hmm. He said, okay. He said, baby, as you are going to Jesus' office now, tell him to pray for you so that God will bless you with the foot of the womb. I now laughed. I said, okay. 
Because I know that week, I know I'm, I'm free. So there's nothing like conception that week. I was like, well, I believe in my Jesus prayer. But that prayer will work when you come back by December. That was what I told myself. I said, but God proved me wrong. So when we got to uh, Jesus office, he now laid his hand on his forehead and said, may your heart desires be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, amen. He also said the same thing to me. I said, amen. So we left with joy. Choose mm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That very week did not pass me by. Power. Choose praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I conceived of this boy. As if God knows that my husband, we, you know, we, we have a problem over there. He blessed me with this child just to console me. And each time, each time I see this guy, this boy, I usually feel joy and I forget my sorrow. So last week, uh, last month, 17th of July, he called me that he's out of the prison. <laughs> choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He believed that there is God in choosing. Yes. He God. believed that God of choosing answers prayer. He believed that my geo is usually put in prayer. That was why he said, tell Pastor Moaka and Pastor Moses that I'm out of the prison. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for my geo, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all the choosing worldwide, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us clap unto God for the releases, the confirmations of the prayer of Pastor of Chosen. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Sarah Chukuka. I'm from Edo State. From, uh, from Edo State. At moment to be precise, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came to choose in 2009. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the sister standing beside me, her name is Sister Rita John. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, hold it. It happens on Thursday when we were about coming to this place. This sister, Sister Rita John, just ran into our church. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With a violent uh, madness. She, mm. was, she wasn't a choosing before. So all to the glory of God. After my geo prayer yesterday. She regained her consciousness. And she is healed. Choosing hey. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is why we are here. To appreciate this God of choosing. For what he has done for us. Thank you. Choosing friend. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you brought her from. From Ekpom Autonomous. From Auto Ekpom Autonomous. She ran into our church while we were preparing to come here on Thursday. She is not our member. In her madness. Yes. She, she just ran inside. She ran into the church. A brother brought him. Okay. So she was now shouting. And some of her sisters were praying for her. Then I called one. I said, what is happening? She said she just ran inside and she's shouting that some powers are chasing her. She's hearing sound. And her grandmother is calling her. So I now told the church secretary to call, of her, uh, to call one of our regional pastors, which she did. And the regional pastor came and prayed for her. After the prayer, then I now told the bike man to go and call the husband. So when the husband came now to pick her up, she entered into the vehicle. She jumped out again. She said she's not going. Hey. That she's going with us. <laughs> she's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that was how... The husband now went home to bring her luggages and she now followed us down to this place on Thursday. So when we got there, before you knew it, she started bleeding from all her parts of the body and we are surprised. Then at a the time, she was conversing. Hmm. Then people gathered us, gathered her and they were praying for her. She came back to life again. So since then, she has been violent even where we were staying. So at a time yesterday, we, in the morning, we went to buy this chain, which we used to chain her down. <laughs> so when my daddy Gio was praying in the evening, then the case was mentioned. Power. Then I now told her, say amen. She now said amen. Then I saw her, she removed something from here two times. I was looking at her, I said, ah, what is she doing? Then after that, we got to her stand. She told me that she wants to eat. <laughs> then I bought her food. After eating, and the husband told me, that she called, he called me on phone, that since on Monday, she has not been eating. 
and she has not been sleeping. After that prayer yesterday, she slept off. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she now woke up in the morning. When she woke up around the bath, I wanted to go out and take my bath. She said she wants to bath. Take her bath too. I was afraid. Hey. Because day before yesterday, she did that. When she got to bedroom, it was a tug of war. She drove people there out. Even the woman, my, the uh, regional woman leader that wanted to uh, take her bath, she poured her the water. So when she told me that she wants to bath, I was afraid to take her to the bedroom where she would take her, her bath. But to the glory of God, when we got there, she pulled her clothes. She took her bath by herself. We came back. She said she would give her cream to rub. I gave her. She asked me, where are we? I said, we are in Imo State. He said, it's a lie that we are in my place in Epoma. I said, no, we are in Imo State. She said she wants to call the husband. I dialed the husband's number and she called the husband. Hey! Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he was telling the husband that she cannot wear this clothes to the church. The husband told her, do you know the place you are? You are, in a, you are not in Ekboma. You are in another place. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that was our God of choosing. Rolled out violent madness away from her. Power. At a time she now recognized me because I came to choose in 2009. And the husband was the children pastor in my branch. In 2008, that was when she got married to her husband. So I left 2009. So myself and the husband, we knew ourselves very well. But her, just a little time. But this morning now, when she regained her consciousness, she now came to me. He said, are you not so, so, so person? I said, yes. She now hugged me. Hey. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are here this afternoon Thank to return you. all the glory to this God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, let her say something. Let her speak. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please don't mind my voice. So. Put the microphone closer to your mouth. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. Hmm. I want to thank God for keeping me to see today again. Hmm. Maybe I wish I am not in this program. My enemy could have been dead and forgotten since. Hmm. I said the Lord and the God of choosing that have done this for me. May his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to also thank our father. You will reign forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And my entire co-members, God will bless you all. The God of choosing will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will not also fail to thank this, my sister. In fact, since I came, she has been there for me. And almost all the women in, that came with us, they have been there. I say, God will not... God will not fail to bless you, to bless your family in Jesus' name. Amen. And one of our pastors that came with us, in fact, I don't know how to thank that one. Hmm. I just, I'm short of words. If you see what happened when we're coming, it, I'm, just, I, I'm still remembering some things now. I just said, the Lord who has done all this, may his name, a law and a law be glorified. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Which church were you attending before? Assemblies of God. Sorry, say that again. Assemblies of God. Assemblies of God. Do you know when this affliction, when it came on you, how long? Do you know when it started, this problem? It started on Monday. On Monday, this uh, last week. This week. Uh, today is Sunday now, so okay. Okay, yes, let's do last week. Okay. And now you are free. Yes, that madness is gone. Yes, sir. God Amen. of choosing is so great. Amen. God of choosing is so great. He's so great. So when you return, join the Lord choosing. Eh? Don't delay. Don't waste time. That God that wants to save you drove you into the Lord's choosing. Or God loves you, wants to be a chosen. And he drove you into the Lord's choosing. I say you are not going home. You didn't know what we are doing. And then he has delivered you fully. You and your husband join the Lord's choosing. God will bless you and prosper you. And your miracles are permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. She's a pastor wife, a reverend's wife now. The husband is a reverend in Assemblies of God. Okay, the husband is a reverend in Assemblies yes, of sir. God. Yes, sir. So is God not showing them something now? Yes, sir. That they should. I say she should leave that one. She should leave that one for me. You are going to handle that one. Yes, sir. Eh? 
I'm bringing to Chuzi. Carry go, carry go. Go to Chuzi, carry go. Carry go, carry go. Go to Chuzi, carry go. Go to Chuzi, carry go. Go to Moka, carry go. Carry go, carry go. Go to Chuzi, carry go. Amen. So many mad people were released from chain and madness. There so many of them. And this is one. With ease, without struggle, just words issued by the pastor of chosen. I want us to rejoice and clap unto God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. The next testifier 